Hey guys, Avi here. I'm back with my second commentary. And some of you may ask, what? Second? I can only find... No, I can't find any commentaries on this channel. Yeah, you're right, because uh, my fifth frag movie and my fifth or montage, whatever, and my fifth um, commentary got removed from YouTube. I don't know why. It's not because of the music. I'm aware of uh, OMG and VMA copyrights, but yeah, I don't know. And I'm so clever that I did not make any copy of this frag movie, so it's deleted forever. Maybe I will do another one because I still have the League of Legends replays, but yeah, maybe later. And here we start with my commentary of Volibear. We're playing with uh, Fizz in the mid, Warwick in the jungle, Garen and my friend Leo Salo 21 with Anivia as always on the bot. Yeah, and I'm on the top lane against Gangplank. And yeah, this game starts pretty. Yeah, it's pretty average. I just get harassed by him. But uh, there's no. It's, it's not dangerous for me because I can't die due to my passive. It's just healing me when it's, when it's going to be dangerous. And uh, I'm just getting my last hits here. Gangplank is really not that good. Last hitting. Of course, Gangplank is good, but not this Gangplank. Yeah, we got first bump by Amivia. That's what I want to see. That's his style. He's so pro. He can so good. Maybe not, maybe. And yeah, here yeah, I'm going back the first time. And um, I have my... I don't know what it's called. This thing which gives me more life regeneration, so... Gangplank's harassing is... Yeah, not worth the mana. But he's still trying to harass me. But it's okay for me, because he's out of mana and I can just easily harass him. But look at this damage of my V. Uh, basically what I'm trying to do on the lane is just getting my last hits and yeah, that's the first blood. I'm just trying to get my last hits and if um, this example Gangplank comes too close to me I can just hit my Q and I'm so damn fast. Just run through him and yeah, throw him behind me and harass him with my V because the V is doing so much damage later in this game. You will see numbers on a single damage skill you have not seen before. Believe me. <laughs> yeah. Look at this damage just just by hitting him with the V. And important to know is that you can only hit uh, the V when you have done three others. And look at this. I just can't die because of my regulation passive and <laughs> the regulation passive is half by Gangplank's, uh, what is it, Q or passive, I don't know. Yeah, but still, it's enough to heal me up against his damage. Because Volibear is so strong and so awesome. It's really fun to play. Yeah, game looks pretty good. Six against two kills. So we go, and I can harass him so easily. And there's... Normally, there's no way that he can stand this line and he is just dying again of my extra damage of my ultimate and here I got ganked by yeah enemy jungler and that's pretty bad team play okay I know no one says as as when there's uh, a jungle but there were two guys and I think I would have killed or survived one of them but yeah no miss from nowhere so I'm dying Maybe my fault, maybe not, but I'm not the one who's raging then. Just continue playing. And the game looks pretty good for me. Got a lot of last hits. And okay. there's no chance. There's nothing he can do. He just flashed away, but uh, this shows that he's not aware of my cooldowns because there's not really much I can do when my V is an ultimate. Uh, it's on this on cooldown. And yeah, he just wasted his flash. And here I'm dying because. Oh my god, I don't know why. I just 
again no miss but I just walked into look stun and normally that's not a problem for me played enough bloodline champions to be able to <laughs> to dodge those skills but yeah shit happens and yeah by the way when you're listening to this make sure that you leave a comment thumbs up this video this helps me so much I can't believe this if you if you make videos on YouTube and you get a thumbs up it's, it's so easy to get to see to see a video on the first YouTube page just because it gets favorized and thumbed up so often this is, this is so great and if you want to support me in my work and what I'm doing and hope that I'm continuing doing this just click the link in the description as always and yeah, I I hope it's clear for you that I'm maybe not only talking about this game because yeah, okay, maybe I should talk about this thing because they wasted two ultimates and a flash, and I'm not dead because I know where Lux is shooting her stun. Yeah, and I just want to talk to you guys about the following. I'm trying to get partner of TGN. This is um, a network of YouTubers that helps to get yeah, to create a path for YouTubers to make maybe some money for the effort because it's really really a waste of time if you think about it and it would be awesome if I could get partnered by them and what I have to do is, uh, I have to make videos about anything, it's not important about what, of course I would say to League of Legends, but I have to remove the music from my videos, so that's why I should stay on making commentaries, because nearly every, every frag movie I did is of course under a copyright because um, I'm not a musician and I made none of these songs so I have to remove them but I will make commentaries and I will still do the frat movies but I will commentate them and if you just want to have the same feeling like in the frat movies you know what music I'm listening to just just turn the music on on your PC on your own just mute my voice and watch my favorite movie. So this should be the same. This is like two movies in one. This should be okay. Yeah, maybe uh, my YouTube channel will be even more big, huge, whatever. Close to a thousand subs. Yeah, look at this. This is ah, this is kind of funny because my V does more damage on the Sin, who is actually the tank. Then uh, Garen's ultimate on Jacko, who is actually not the tank, and I think my V has not that much cooldown if you compare it with Garen's ultimate, but they work pretty pretty good together. If you hit V, it's awesome damage of Volley B and then a Garen execute. This should be a funny lane, I think. Yeah. Yeah, in this game uh, our fizz was feeding like hell, I think 1 to 7 or something like that. I can't really understand it. Looks like he has not watched my fizz frag movie or commentary, which was, I think, 2 or 3 days on YouTube and got like 6 or 7 thousand views. This is awesome. This was maybe, maybe the talent frag maybe got more views, but yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I was just brain AFK. I got like 8 or 10, 12, 15 tower hits in a few seconds. <laughs> but I'm so tanky right now. I have my Varmox. And this game will end pretty funny. You will see this. Uh, I'm just farming, farming. I try to stack up my Varmox. And yeah, you will see this at the end. I mean, right now I'm 
at 4k HP and there's nothing that can happen to me. And that's yeah. But you always have to keep in mind, uh, I have to say, um, I often try to, to get back to the runway, but um, there's still my passive, and this passive is really awesome. I mean, passive makes me heal about 30% of um, my maximum health, and 30% is a lot if you are about, yeah, 4k HP. That's a lot. And uh, yeah. What else to say? Maybe I should speak about my item build. Um, I'm trying with uh, Doran's shield. That's pretty standard, I think. Gives you armor, was a good choice against game plank on top. Health regeneration. It's good for harassing. You can go into and it's not so bad if you get some some minion hits because of the armor and the regeneration. Yeah, and there's some health. And this uh, health is always good for this volley beer because his V stacks with his maximum health. It makes, I think, uh, a fixed number plus, I think it's 20% of his maximum health. Plus, and this is the awesome thing about this skill, um, 1% more damage for each percent missing head of the enemy. So it's like an execute skill if you choose to eat someone at 50% health. It's really, it's, it looks like eating. It's like Nunu's minion eating skill, but you can just kill enemy champions. It's awesome. Yeah, this gang is uh, pretty hard for me at first, but turns out very good because yeah, finally I have a team and they try to help me after I tank them for 20 seconds. <laughs> and here I got my frost tough knife. I hope it's the right word for the item in English. I don't know. I should install the English client. Would be better for me and for you maybe. Yeah, and let's come back to the item build. Um, I normally would prefer to play with the magic resist boots, or maybe if the enemy team has a lot of uh, melee hitters like, or ID carries like uh, Master Yi, Tristana, and so on. You could you could choose to buy the armor boots with dodge and. Um, I've also seen some guys using the cooldown reaction boots because they say, ah, the cooldown will be so long, but actually for me, I played a lot of games with the spear and I want to have fun, I want to make good scenes, and for this I have to be close to my enemy, I have to start a fight, I have to harass, I have to gank, you know, whatever, and with Volibear, I think those boots give you a speed of plus 5 um, if you're not in combat plus the Q makes you so fast and uh, my masteries are I think uh, 0 21 9 this makes me I mean look at this I'm running 461 when I have my Q on so no one can get away. No one, really. And you know that I'm playing with Ghost nearly every game. This makes me. If, if I want someone, I can just chase him. He can flash two or three times. I'm still faster than him. Yeah, and this you can see my damage. This is just so fast. That this was a pretty bad ball for Anivia. But this game is. looks very good for us. They are pushed back. They are preparing. For gangs and they're scared of us, so they're hiding. We can do Baron, yeah, and with Baron, I'm even more a monster. This is not very intelligent of this grave. And yeah, the game's pretty good. Our mid tower is still alive, and yeah, this team fight, game thing overextended because he thought, yeah, I'm so tanky, 
she's not as tanky as me, so you should not do this. Yeah, this is pretty funny. Shekel is always <laughs> surprisingly, uh, yeah, there he <laughs> suddenly stays behind us, and everyone is turning around and like, oh my god, let's kill him, let's kill him, let's kill him, but we're not able to kill him. He's just jumping away all the time. We played Shekel very well. No sort of plane. But he can't really help his team by not doing that. Yeah, I'm taking the tower for too long, maybe. And due to Gangplank is passive. My healing is used and I'm fine. But no problem, I got 2000 gold and I'm back. So I can buy. Yeah, what can I buy? I will buy another Varmox. So I have. Back to my build. A Dorans, a Sunfire Cape, Frost Armor, Varmox, the boots, and close to another Varmox. Which, let me have a look, actually I'm having 5.5k HP and here I'm killing all the creeps with 13 because I need this farm and I think I'm pretty tanky right now. Some of you may ask about the runes I'm using. To be honest, I don't give a shit about runes. I need the inference points to buy new champions because I'm doing it replace of the new champions and uh, to 95 percent of the time Riot releases new champions and they cost 6300 influence points so I have to farm a lot and I really I'm not able to buy so much good room builds I have some standard room builds like magic penetration uh, or HP I still have I think more penetration and that's what I use with um, the body beer I'm using the health runes plus some uh, what I'm using I don't really know I think I think armor penetration or is it something like that yeah at this point I should have been able to kill Shaku but I was a little bit Brain AFK again, killed the uh, wrong shackle. Yeah, no good decision. Yeah, let's kick the egg. We just dead again. You will see this blue bird overextending in a lot of my games. Nearly in every game I'm playing with him. <laughs> He's just uh, so, so aggressive. If you play a game with him, and when he kills an enemy, he's like in, in the whole game. He's like, "Oh my god, I can kill him! I can kill him!" So he's just just one combo, just my Q, just my E, and he's dead. Just kill him, and then he's <laughs> waiting in the bush on the enemy base, <laughs> waiting for five enemies just to make a better kill, and he will die like like nothing. But if you say to him, he's just like, "Oh, I have my passive. I have my egg." No problem, no problem, I will kill him after and then uh, he's just dying more than the air. <sighs> it's, yeah, he will not learn this, maybe? No? Right. Yeah, and now the awesome part begins. Look at this. Three Varmogs, one Sunfire, Frost Hammer and Boots. So, actually, I'm a tank. I'm a real tank. I'm a tank which you can use in war. I have 7.5 HP and I'm <laughs> my regeneration is about 138 per 5 seconds. That's pretty awesome. And my V is actually doing I think 200 plus over 1k damage plus 1% of each percent missing health of my enemy. I don't know if you've seen it, but I did like, I think it was 1 or, or I think 0.8k damage to, uh, to Grave while I have an Axos on me. That's pretty badass. Yeah, and this was for my commentary, please. I know my commentaries are not 
best on YouTube, I think. But please let me know what I should improve, talk about what, and so on. And yeah, I will improve that, and you should improve my subscriber amount. So please tell all your friends to subscribe me. This would help me so much. I think I will cry or make a special or something like that if I have 1000 subscribers. And hopefully in a few weeks I will be TGN partner and my channel will be much bigger and more famous and I can do more movies and just try to help me with that. See you in maybe a few days when I upload my Volibear commentary but the difference will be as I told you that this will not be one game this will be like a frag movie but no music no awesome music this time no blue stanley or sad well or whatever yeah but you know just turn up your own music see you guys thanks for listening thanks for watching bye